Insight Services now has a brand new filter debris analysis offering. Our first step in the new offering and one of the most significant changes includes a brand new filter washing instrument that was designed by one of our very own Insight team members. The modular design can accommodate more regular filters such as large sized filters and bag or sock filters. This new design works with all new components as well. Filters are now washed using solvent and compressed air. There are no electrical components, which allows for the use of flammable solvents. In addition, attachments are connected to the filter in order to seal them and perform a true back flush by using solvent and compressed air. The attachments are also capable of performing a more unison wash of the filter and achieve a better representation of debris caught within the media for analysis. Debris from the filter and solvent used to wash the debris from the filter is collected in a 64 ounce bottle that will be used for further testing. The next test found in Insight Services' new filter debris analysis process brings us to the Hayek pod, which can perform an optical particle count on the debris collected from the filter. The purpose of the particle count is to provide secondary quantification trending in addition to patch creation, which will take place in the following test. The particle counter is able to detect a wide range of particles. This range includes particles as small as 5 microns and particles as large as 68 microns. At the end of testing, the range of particle counts will be printed on a receipt and entered onto the report. Another new testing method includes membrane patch creation. Membrane patches are created and gravimetrically weighed out to collect debris, to calculate the total amount of debris collected from the filter, and to trend data. A 30 micron patch and a 5 micron patch are made and analyzed to differentiate severe wear and normal wear, respectively. The 30 micron patch will collect larger particles, while the 5 micron patch will collect smaller particles. In the apparatus, the 30 micron patch sits above the 5 micron patch, allowing smaller particles through. This new test method also prevents patches from clogging since the top of the apparatus is interchangeable. Once debris has been gravimetrically weighed and collected on both the 5 and 30 micron patches, we view the 30 micron patch under a microscope. We then capture a representative magnified image of the wear particles found on the 30 micron patch. The image of the wear particles can be found on the report. Lastly, in the filter debris analysis process, the 5 micron and 30 micron patches are analyzed with the X-ray fluorescence machine, also known as the XRF. The XRF can determine the range of elements present as well as their proportions within the sample. Once testing is complete, the data is assembled in a report. Our analysts review the data and conclude an appropriate determination of your machine's condition. In addition, the report displays images of the filter and patches, microscopic views of the patches, and pie charts displaying elemental data.